What's up guys? As you can see here that the uh, water level sits the most right here. And that's on a level level surface. You see there's a velcro and what I did was I put a oops it's already turned on here, so I'm gonna disconnect that. What I did was I put a Velcro here, and I uh, I was going to use marine, marine silicone and uh, paste that there, but what I did was I ended up using the Gorilla Tape. And here I actually uh, glue this one on. I don't know if you can see a little bit of it, but it's been holding up pretty good. Put a little piece of foam right there so to hold for the water level. And what I did was got a, uh, a PVC trap, got a flow trap, what it does is that water pushes in through here, but it doesn't come in through there, and in the minute, minute that I'm going to show you what I did was, because this one's actually pretty stiff, versus this one is, uh, one's pretty more looser, and I actually had to cut down the spring, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, as you can see here, part that's where the water's not going back in. I had a, I already did this one. This one's already complete. I'm get a little small PVC pipe, about a half inch PVC pipe. I believe this is a uh, a female threaded. And get this one off. There you go. So you get a little piece like that, something that'll fit. Probably have to cut a little bit more shorter. It goes in here like that, it goes in like that. What I have here is a brass pipe, which is also a uh, quarter, quarter, quarter inch to half inch. See here, I already did this one with uh, what's that called? Can't think of it. It's uh, Teflon tape. There you go. And this one here is a brass pipe, but this one's a two inch one. I actually, one with a uh, one and a half. Just shorter. Goes in like that. And then what I did was, I got a uh, all the YouTubes that I came across on uh, how to do this one, they all showed that uh, drilling into the kayak, which I did not want to do. I don't really like drilling, in case later on I decide to sell it. So what I did was I did a, uh, I got a, bought a threader, which uh, I'll show you in a moment. What I did was I threaded it in, in there like that, as you see here, and I got a drill bit and I drilled a hole like that. So the water is only flowing one way through. I mean, actually, the, uh, the P-trap would stop the water from flowing in, but the gauge pump will actually pump the water out. You see, this is actually a lot more looser, versus this one's a little bit more stiffer. And I cut down the spin, which I'll do that right now and show you guys. I'm actually doing this one for my buddy. He actually uh, owns a Avenger Island just like I do. So, take that out. Take that spring out. There you go. And what I did was I just cut it down. Don't cut it down. About almost quarter. I mean, you want to try on errors. See which one uh, stiffer for you. Which pump? I have a 600 gallon per hour. 
so this one's pretty strong, so I'll probably cut it like cut it right there. Get that off, put this thing back on. That's how it looks inside. Cut that in like that. Get it to line up. Push that one up, push it inside up. So that's in there like that. Alright, that's good. Now it's a lot more looser now that that's gone. Alright. So I'm going to show you how I did this one. This, since this one's already done. So what I got is I got a threader. And I threaded it inside, which I'll show you in the picture. this one I put a, a nut on this one or a screw or use this one instead so while this one's already tight in there I started turning in so I, I managed to get that much in which is good enough so just stick this one in like this See, so that's tight in there like that. All right. And uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but let me get my camera. Put that in there. gonna stick it screw this one in this pipe right here this is just a beer punch hose from uh, outward uh, I think I got this one at Walmart this one fits in pretty snug it's pretty tight in there like that and uh, I'm probably gonna seal it up with the uh, I don't know glue glue or, or something As you can see this one's already it's got the Teflon tape this one's already got the PVC uh, cement Oh, you welded on. Okay. So, it's actually like that. Boom. With this one. Boom. And that one goes in there like that. So, I'm put it all together and see how it looks. And you see it sticks sound like that, the Teflon tape. So now that that's in, Velcro tape's going to go down, whoop. Just like that. Power it on. Let's see. This is actually not much water, believe it or not, but uh, and it works. So what I did was I got a bucket I'm probably going to have to put more, uh, 
I have to put more more foam here and get it to go up more. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it works with the PVC pipe. Oh yeah, but it's working. Just gotta adjust the float on it. And it's shooting water like a camp. Ain't any. Works. Alright, it's gonna pump all the water out. Yeah, look at that. Now I got jet power. Yeah, sucking all the water out. Suck it out, suck it out. Just gotta adjust the uh, the foam on the uh, on the floater inside the uh, fluid pump. And that's it, and it sucked up that uh, yeah. So we got a little bit of water. Yeah, just gotta adjust the float. All right. Well, that's it. That's my tutorial. Got a poop with battery that I'm gonna use for the it's a lithium battery. It's a 20 amp hour. Uh, 20,000 milliamps. Pretty much 20 amp hours. I got, just got that in the mill. I got the that's pretty much it. That's that. Thanks for watching. Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams.